So here is my default ALS word project and first thing we need cover animations so you can go ahead and get these animation from Mixamo so I have downloaded all these animations which is so these are all the animations I have downloaded from Mixamo you can find that over here and also I have retargeted it to ALS skeleton so I have strand to cover strand to cover right strand to cover left and also cover to idle and cover to walk right and walk left animations so we need these few animations and we will use all the functionality from ALS so first thing first I'm gonna go ahead in my project settings in collision I'm gonna create a new object channel which is gonna be my cover object so this is my cover object and now I'm gonna place box over here and I'm gonna set the collision type to cover object in my settings so select the box and under collision I'm gonna set the collision preset to custom and object type to cover object so now I can take cover from this object right so let's go ahead and open our anim anime sorry open our character blueprint first so I'm gonna go to ALS folder open blueprints and under character logic here is my ALS character base I'm gonna open it up and here is my event graph so for now I'm gonna use E keyboard key come on so here's my E keyboard so I'm gonna use sphere trace for objects and I'm gonna copy paste this functionality from my project to quickly make this work so this is my start location and sorry this is my start location which is actor location and I'm gonna use the get actor rotation forward vector multiply the forward vector with 150 units and add that to my current actor location and this will be my end location for sphere trace so for object type we're gonna use make array and set this to cover object that we have made in our project settings so this is my sphere trace and next thing I'm gonna set the radius to 20 and draw debug type to for duration so if I go ahead and check the result here you can see the trace is working and it can hit the it can hit this cube which is cover object and it cannot hit at these cubes because these are not cover objects right so now let's go ahead and we need to communicate to our animation blueprint so for that I'm gonna make a new animation interface I'm gonna use open the interfaces folder right click go to blueprints and create a blueprint interface I'm gonna call this ALS underscore 
our system blueprint interface so this is my blueprint interface and and I'm gonna create a new function over here which I'm gonna call this stand to cover and this set add a new input to boolean I'm gonna call this cover and create two more functions first one is cover to move right and the other is cover to move left so these are the these are three these are three functions in our blueprint interface that we're gonna use to communicate our animation blueprint so now I'm gonna open my character blueprint and if the trace does hit something I'm gonna break the hit result. I'm gonna get my mesh get anim instance and call that interface which is stand to cover. Pass that message stand to cover. So if our animation blueprint does implement this interface, then we will set that play that animation and perform the cover system functionality. So I'm going to set the variable to true. So here is our variable set to true. And the next thing is So if I play we need forward facing movement of our character of our character. So for this I'm going to set the set desired rotation mode of our character to looking direction which is forward facing character movement i'm going to set this to look looking direction and then i'm gonna use the als function which is blueprint interface set rotation mode and set the rotation mode to our looking direction which is which we have set up over here right and next thing is we're gonna get our capsule component and move component to the hit location to take cover so for quickly setting this up i'm gonna copy and paste the functionality from my previous project so here's my location and impact here's my normal so i'm gonna explain these things to you guys so i'm go I, I am using the hit location this will be my and i'm go also using the impact normal and from normal i'm gonna i will use the rotation from x-axis and multiply the forward vector to get the forward vector from my rotation and multiply the forward vector to 15 units so let's check the functionality without setting these things up and if i press e you can see my character move and attach to the move near to the cover object see so we want that the character doesn't overlap with cover object so that's why i am extracting this i'm subtract the location to from my impact normal and set the 
character rotation over here. So this is my impact normal make rotation make forward vector get rotation from x from our normal and I'm gonna use delta rotation 180 in my yaw and this will be my target relative rotation so if I go ahead and hit this you can see my character stops at certain distance and doesn't overlap the cover object so if I increase the distance you can see my character stops way more ahead here is here you can see so that's where I set up this at 10 units let's say so this is our idle to cover functionality in our character blueprint is ready so now we need to communicate to our animation blueprint so that we can take cover properly right so now i'm gonna go to my content browser and in my character assets mannequin skeleton and open my als animation blueprint and here is my our event graph so first we need to imp implement the interface that we have just created for our cover system for this i'm going to go to class settings and go to interfaces and add cover system blueprint interface right and then i'm going to search for event idle to cover stand to cover so that is our event which is stand to cover and i'm gonna promote this to a variable which is stand to cover right compile and save and now let's set up our important functionality which is animation blueprint for this i'm gonna go to my animation graph first so we need our all overlay functionality for our animation blueprint so in order to use the overlay functionality we need our cover system under our base layer so for this i'm gonna open my base layer and here is our main movement states and right i'm gonna move the nodes over here and let's open my nodes quickly so first we need to promote this promote these promote this state to a cache so for this i will use cache new post cache and i'm gonna call this movement state same as the main movement states i'm gonna use the cache pose and call this movement state right and then i'm gonna right click and use a state machine add a new state machine and this will be my cover state machine right i'm gonna connect it to here okay so now quickly open our cover state machine and under this i'm gonna add a state cover state and add this to my entry point open it up and under this i'm gonna use a new state machine which is my cover state machine final let's say right and i'm gonna connect this to over here so now let's open it up and add a new state this will be my default state 
so for our default state we will use this movement state which we have promoted to our cache so for this default state i'm gonna search for movement state this is our cache pose for movement state so now our als is at previous point uh, same as previous but with addition to our cover state machine right so now we can go ahead from this point to i stand to cover and perform all the remaining functionality so for first of all i'm gonna go to add a new state stand to cover so we will we can go to default from default to stand to cover and the condition is if our if our cover variable is true that we have promoted to our from our animation blueprint in event graph from our animation blueprint from our blueprint interface so if our cover variable is true then we can go to stand to cover and here is my animation which is stand to cover so this is my stand to cover animation right i'm gonna grab the animation and place it over here so this is my stand to cover animation so if i go ahead and play you can see we our character is performing stand to cover animation so i'm gonna set the distance there from stand to cover to 20 so that our character don't overlap with cover object so now it's performing stand to cover animation and now we need idle animation cover idle so the condition is i'm gonna set the automatic rule base to sequence play so when stand to cover animation ends we will go to cover idle and i'm gonna place the cover idle animation which is stand cover idle face right this so now if i hit play you can see my character goes in cover idle position but the animations are not properly working fine from Mixamo so we need to fix that by modify curve so I'm gonna use modify curve sorry modify curve instead of transform modify bone so we will rotate our root bone I'm gonna set the location and scale to disable and set the rotation to 180 in Z right and set the rotation to rotation mode to add to existing to our component space right and now if i hit play you can see our character moves to cover position and take cover properly okay